Coming very soon to this planet will be a time of unprecedented suffering and sorrow, death, devastation and destruction, pain and persecution, the Bible calls the tribulation. You say, really, it, a lot of things have been bad on the earth before. It's bad now. How bad is the tribulation going to be? It's going to be as bad as you can possibly imagine. In the book of Revelation, we find in chapter 5, Jesus is proclaimed the worthy one, worthy to open the scroll, because he's the one who redeemed us to God through his blood. And so we're going to be gathered in heaven declaring worthy, worthy is the lamb. And then he's going to take the scroll and he's going to open the seals. Now what's that talking about? Well, back in the first century, you didn't print a book like you do now. You wrote a scroll and the different sections of the scroll would be sealed. And so he's going to take that scroll and he's going to open it one seal at a time. And as he does, each seal will be a new judgment on the earth. Now, scholars debate whether this is going to happen uh, chronologically. Is it going to happen one after another? Is it going to happen primarily in the second half of the tribulation? Probably so. Let's talk about the seal judgments leading into the trumpet judgments and then the seven bowl judgments. The seal judgments are there seven of them. The first is the Antichrist rises to power on our planet, political power. War will break out. There's gonna be unprecedented famine. Even right now, I read an article last week of how global warming, they're predicting, it's going to cause the greatest times of famine we've ever seen in, on the earth. And that's all gonna be multiplied during the tribulation. Between the famine and a great plague, now we've just had a great plague that's killed millions of people, but can you imagine a global plague of much more devastation? It's gonna to lead to a massive number of people on the planet are going to die between those two things. If that doesn't get you, martyrdom will. <laughs> the Antichrist is going to kill those who don't worship him. And then there's coming a great earthquake it's going to kill one quarter of the people on planet Earth. If that happened today, that would be two billion people dead. And then the last seal that Jesus opens will be the seven trumpets. We really believe this will probably be happening in the second half of the tribulation called the Great Tribulation. There's going to be burning hail coming from the sky that's going to kill one-third of the plants on the planet. You say, well, what's that burning hail, hail going to be all about? Well, think about a nuclear bomb and the fallout of that and how it would affect plant life. There's going to be a burning fireball coming into the sea. We don't know if that's an asteroid or uh, what that's all about, but the Bible says that's going to happen. And it's also going to impact the fresh water is going to be taken away so you're going to have a very difficult time getting anything to drink only the powerful only those worshiping the antichrist are going to have access to to real water the air is going to become incredibly polluted and uh, that's going to affect other things and then hell's going to open up and the demons are going to be loosed on the planet loosed on the people of this planet there's going to be a massive invasion of demons awful. An army has gathered in the east, possibly China, and will be marching its way down, bringing destruction all the way to Israel, killing an army of two million soldiers, killing one-third of the population as they march, and then it ends up with killer hail, possibly final nuclear explosion. Well, the trumpets end, and then the scriptures talks about the seven bowls, but a lot of scholars feel that these correspond one with another. Let me explain. The, the burning hail 
would obviously produce painful sores on people's body. The burning fireball in the sea would obviously produce great death of this life in the sea. Can you imagine how much of our food comes from the sea and yet that'll be taken away? The fresh water is going to be polluted. The sun, because of the great pollution, is going to be scorching us and burning us. We won't have any protection from it. And then as the demons invade the earth, it's going to bring a time of incredible, unprecedented spiritual darkness on our planet. It'll be terrible. And then the demons, as well as the armies of the earth, all the nations the scripture describes elsewhere are going to be gathered in, at Armageddon, the Valley of Megiddo, in Israel, for one final battle, not with each other, but with God himself, to try and fight God. It's going to end with a giant earthquake and burning hail as Jesus comes and lands on the earth, a great earthquake, coming as King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the warrior king, riding his white horse, will destroy his enemies and, and, and take the, the beast and the Antichrist and throw them into the lake of fire. It's going to be a time of awful devastation. Look, I, I can't tell you exactly every tiny detail about the tribulation, but I can tell you this, you don't want to be there. You want to avoid this if in any way possible, and the only way to avoid it is to give your life to Jesus Christ. Become his follower. Follow Jesus. And you won't, you'll be in heaven when this is occurring. You'll be worshiping him as the worthy one instead of being down here on earth experiencing all this sorrow. Give your life to Jesus. Do it today.